throw it away, girl. Hi, I just rubbed some dirt from my yard on my forehead. How are you doing? That's because I don't ever review or use Too Faced on my channel anymore. Oh, this looks kind of nasty. Jesus Christ. Someone named Jared used to be the owner of Too Faced. He sold his brand to Estee Lauder. He was degrading the brand Tarte. And I'm like, honey, you do not invent unicorns. I know you think you do and you're very entitled and you think that you run the world. You don't come back to earth. Said that my brand was uh, clown makeup. Okay, um, now Estee Lauder had to ask them to shut the f up. It just sucks that people that are literally almost twice my age are degrading me. So there's the tea on that. <laughs> we all know about this fiasco. When their Shape Tape foundation range hit the internet, we all gasped and threw up. We all know that most brands create more than uh, two shades for women of color. Oh, well, you know, this foundation, you know, we don't have that many shades because it's like, you know, you can use some for the winter and then you can transition into your summer shade. Their lack of shade range was embarrassing. It wasn't just like, it was, uh, you know, they kind of fucked up. It was like, girl, they fucked up. This formula, by the way, is not the greatest. Forgot about it, don't care about it, and it's time it goes in the trash. This full face of makeup we're throwing out. Now, I'm all for people being inspired by other brands, but when you literally steal the exact concept and photo shoot, <sighs> how do you sleep at night? I think she's just gonna think that, oh, well, whatever, people won't care in a month and we'll make all of our money. If you were gonna steal from people and not acknowledge it, can't relate. This is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. We, we go to use it and it's like, oh, <laughs> what happened, girl? Bloop. Oh, it looks like a little piece of dookie. Oh my God, looks like I got punched. Should we just take this and cry? <laughs> this is the Kat Von D Shady Bronzer. Hmm? Fitting. Two summers ago, my brand was skyrocketing, Kat Von D was stagnant, and she decided to cross out my face and um, let the internet know a bunch of crazy lies. Of course, I responded and debunked everything that she said because she was completely full of shit. She named a lipstick after me years ago, Sephora, who is, of, of course, affiliated with Kendo, which is a company that owns her brand. They um, denied her request and they sold her Jeffree lipstick up until about a month ago. And you couldn't even tell them and get my shade taken down. Can't relate, I own my own company. Kat Von D came for Jeffree Star and I'm like, you recently got married, I guess. You're pregnant, um, you're, all these things are happening and you're still concerned with me? You're still concerned with me? You're still concerned with me? Someone on her wedding video, which this is like your special day, honey, asked, I bet you Jeffree Star is at home watching this. And she, Miss Thing, had to write, Jeffree who? With a wink and I'm like, how about Jeffrey that had the lipstick uh, in Sephora with my motherfucking name on it with your company? She was always a friend that had the nicer stuff and um, the roles reversed. My forehead looks like dirt, actual dirt. She said that she would sadly be removing the Jeffrey liquid lip from Sephora and her website. <laughs> well, we just logged on to catbondybeauty.com, which is her personal website where she ships products from aside from Sephora. And you can click right now and still buy the Jeffrey lipstick. This is the last remaining product I have of hers, and now it's over. Next, Clay de Poe. They are very luxury, bougie. Obviously, the packaging looks beautiful, but then let's get to the inside. <laughs> Well, this little glitter moment here is an overspray. So once you wipe that off, it's literally chalk underneath. And I'm like, for $95, this is what we get? Like, let's put it on my hand. Hi, it evaporated. Wig. I promise, I went really hard in that pan. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Hello, I don't see anything. Nope, nothing's happening. <laughs> For $95, I expected it to be beautiful and blinding, and all I got was some chalk, and not even the kind of chalk that I can like draw on my driveway, just straight up chalk. For blush, we're gonna go in with this Kylie Cosmetics Shade X Rated. This, I was kinda like, first of all, the fallout is really crazy. I was like barely touching that, and it's like, ooh, lord. I expect like way more color. It's so sheer, I'm like, hello? Excuse me. We're gonna need a little bit more pigment, okay? This just didn't have any pigment and uh, I'm bored. This is not looking that cute. Uh, I'm just kind of like over the brand at the moment, but right now, kind of like over it and just kind of like meh. And we are gonna use something that I was so offended by, I am still offended. Speaking of horrible smells, this one smells so atrocious. It smells atrocious. I'm talking about overpriced horse shit that doesn't really work. I love Armani Beauty. I saw literally zero difference. $70. <sighs> I'm 
It doesn't even smell great. I'm like, oh. Okay, waving it around, and just like last time, I don't see much of a difference. I see kind of nothing. Mwah. Bye, guys. Are these brushes Jeffree Star approved? They're not. I do not see much payoff there, honey. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this brush, girl. Uh-uh, not living for it. This feels like it's from the Dollar Tree. Girl, I feel like I look a fucking hot mess. Okay. Hmm. 50 shades of white and then like two shades for women of color. Are women of color an afterthought to Tarte? Are they not good enough? So you, you gotta wait to get your shade later. Okay. Now what in the mother fuck is going on? Look at my eye. It says 0.28 fluid ounces. Bitch, where? These three to me look really similar. Where you apply one to two pumps and it's supposed to be like hot bam. Well, we'll see about that in a second. I'm like looking at this like tin foil. It looks like the shit they did in signs when they were like, ooh. I mean, universal. So if you have jet black hair, you, this is gonna work for you. Is that their philosophy? All the way down, still no product. We're halfway down, still no product. Right there. So literally, there's like no product in here, except to right here. Overall, am I wowed by this packaging? Mm, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, sorry, they're sticking together from that weird glue shit in the package. I'm like over it, I hate it. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I'm like not loving this. This sponge, you guys, it's a little hard. Like I'm not living for it. And then the swatches came out. If a brand does not have a big shade range, why bother? I'm not living for the foundation. Um, it applied the powder great, but I also have one that is literally a tenth of the cost that could do the exact same thing. Um, to me, the silver kind of dinky packaging is not doing it for me. They do look a little basic looking. Um, this overall just feels very cheap, yeah. But then when you get to the cotton candy cream, it's like a sticker. Where the hell is it? Hmm. I'm like, you guys, where's the fucking pigment? Yeah, it's not really sticking onto my brush. I'm like, I'm not disregarding this, you guys. It's just not for me. It's like so basic. Not obsessed. And I look a little dry. I don't recommend New Wave. Oh my God, girl. It, it like, it, it was a mess. It was a little messy. And remember, Kylie said that real versus synthetic is drastically different. The CC cream had seven shades. And I'm like, girl, this brand has been out since 2008 and y'all still have only seven shades? Unacceptable. This almost turned like a blackish gray right here. Girl, I'm not into it. Foundation should go from A to Z. Tarte did like A to M, skipped a whole bunch, and then did like U, Z. Why would you have to put out darker shades later? So only white people get to buy your shit first and then everyone is like an afterthought? Mm, I'm a little peeved that someone who has had a makeup line for such a short amount of time is uh, comparing themselves to an iconic legend. Girl, you better chill. You know, drugstore highlighters like Wet n Wild, which are $4.99 that literally have um, maybe even more pigment and they're more blinding. Hmm. Girl, that is barely taupe. That's like going on a, on a medium brown. Girl. Hi. <sighs> but the brushes are like stuck on with little stickers on here. I wanna show this off. Scrape the glue off, which who the fuck wants to do that after paying that much money? Not me. Now, I thought light was gonna be light. Like, look at that. And then you open it. Uh, whoever designed the packaging, you kind of flopped because these literally look nothing alike. Let's go in with this for a second. We're already hating it. But as you see, this is not blending. It's really subtle. Girl, where's the damn lip brush? There is pigment on my brushes. There is fallout all over my Makeup station, my hands are a mess. The shirt, girl. Who gonna pay for my dry cleaning bill? That shade minus a few over here are the only matte shades in the palette. Mm. Pigmented? Not today, honey. This brush set with this cheap old vegan aluminum fucking silver is just not worth the price point. This foundation? No, baby. It's a little patchy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it powdery? Clearly it is. 
And let's just kind of go right in there and I literally don't see anything. It was a lot of work to get these to show up on my lids. I just don't think it's worth it. Instant Universal Brow Perfecting Powder for all hair colors. I've developed for you guys the most amazing luxury brushes ever. Girl, I can not. I'm a little scared, I'm a little nervous because we're testing out something. It is this crazy foundation that is allegedly going to change its color as it adapts to my skin tone. Now listen here, went back to the website where I bought this, it's not there anymore. Listen, I, it's already starting off the review a little sketchy. I'm scared. They're using people's faces that did not endorse this product. They may have reviewed it once like I'm about to do, and now this brand is using their review like they are happy clients. <laughs> Look at she's smiling. Is that a lie? Did you steal that from like a, a dentist ad? Regardless, I'm already shook. I'm going to FaceTime my dear friend Norvina, who is the president of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. Am I, am I gonna get a chemical burn? I'm about to film. <laughs> Uh, it has a bunch of trademark registrations. I'm like, how? Full, full faking. I feel like this is someone's like grandma and their niece in their like kitchen. <laughs> I like how it says lift from within. I'm like, <laughs> are you lifting from within? But this, I have no idea. It's, oh my god, it's literally white. It looks like toothpaste. Okay, it says it's gonna give me a lit from within complexion. It's color changing and adjusting naked. Please zoom in on that, because that's not a real sentence. Ultra HD advanced formula looks invisible on 4K cameras. An exclusive 4K complex. <laughs> I think I got duped. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Are they for real? There's one shade. <sighs> that's it. it. Fights the sign in me. Okay. I swear to God, I'm having I'm having a complex already. What is happening? Oh my God! What in the fuck? What? Oh my God! That sound makes me violent. Okay. Wide pass when you get some. Ah! Oh wow! Are we getting ready for my funeral? New challenge. <laughs> Bitch, I swear to God. Oh, the smell is like making me sick. Oh my God. Look at my face. <laughs> A great cast. <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna start off the new year like this, you guys. <gasps> I'm feeling like I'm having a James Charles flashback Mary moment right now. How's it look? Go behind the camera. No, 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 no. Just come here. Ready for it? This is a new foundation, okay? Uh, what the? <laughs> the uh, How do you feel, babe? Also, have a like white shit all over your face. That's the foundation. Oh. T touch my skin. Oh, it feels like sticky. <laughs> Like, yeah. A little sticky. Mm. You just look kind of ghostly. Mm-hmm. Just a little, little ghostly. Gosh, darn it! This. <laughs> um, I don't know what other products could be in here because my face is suffocating. I'm feeling a little weird, and I can't wait to get this off my skin. TLM foundation color changing and its packaging are not Jeffree Star approved. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this has been a really cool journey, but that would be a lie. I would say that this has been really fun. And that would also be a lie. <laughs> Girl? We're going in the trash early. Um, we're not recommending this. Uh, if you have seen the viral uh, picture, run from it, girl.